I'm Mike Coyle, and you're watching Inside Exploration. Today, I'm here with Marcel Robillard, who is the Chairman, President, and CEO of Puma Explorations. Thanks for joining me today, Marcel. Thank you very much for the invite, uh, Mike. I really appreciate uh, the time. Well, I've been looking forward to talking to you because I recently did a little write-up on the Triple Fault Gold Project, and uh, I took a lot of interest in it, actually. You've, you've hit some really nice showings over the last couple of years, so why don't you just start off the interview by giving everybody a well-rounded overview of your projects. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, Puma Exploration have been active in the Bathurst Mining Camp, which is located in Northern New Brunswick for about 15 years now. The focus of the, the company in the past was mainly on base metal, like uh, copper and zinc and lead, because the Bathurst Camp used to be a famous camp and hold the uh, biggest uh, zinc underground mine for years. So we have been working on that area. And lately, we've been a bit to transfer the focus from the base metal on the gold side of the story. Almost uh, really, really little, little exploration were done for gold exploration in the Bathurst camp, as is, uh, was famous for base metal. So since a year about, we have uh, collect and put all together the piece to a major land package in Northern New Brunswick, we did some deals with Prospector, we did some claim staking, and it was all based on the, um, you know, the Maritime Atlantic Canada New Gold District. So that's a little bit the reason why. We knew there were some gold there, but not as much as we found. So basically, the, the, the strategy was to collect all those, play together, make a huge land package. We hold it 100% with really, really like not expensive option, and we have start only working really on the site since July last year. So since last year, uh, we've had about uh, six months of real exploration on site, so from July to December, and that's exactly uh, when and how we found the major high-grade gold, you know, mineralization that we call it now the O'Neill Gold Trend. So six months of exploration, trenching, stripping, and you know, really have the boots on ground and be the real job of a geologist to find new gold showing. And it's funny because I don't know a really good place in the world that you know almost nothing has been done. And the first work was done only in 2008. So this is the brand new site ready for brand new discovery. So that's what is more exciting for us. And uh, as we found all those big gold showing, now we've done everything to really define and find more. So basically the field work done was to initiate a major BTEM survey over the entire land package. Uh, we've done some trenching. And now, in the, since the last two weeks only, we have three teams on site to find more and, uh, and increase the gold mineralization found uh, last year. So you have a really aggressive uh, exploration campaign plan for this year. I noticed you're going to strip out an area 200 meters by 600 meters, and yeah. that's all along the O'Neill Gold Trend showing, correct? So that, yeah. that encompasses Pepitos and Chubby, Moose, Lynx, and the O'Neill, uh, or is it just a segment of those? No, it's going to be the entire, you know, what we found is over 600 meters, and mm -hmm. basically what we have now and what we are currently doing is the wood cutting because that's right in the middle of the wood, really close from the paved road. So, you know, it's not even like 200 meters from the paved road, but where we want to strip is really, you know, an area. And I would correct you, it's gonna be 400 meters by 600 meters, <laughs> because now we have found more like a parallel structure, so we don't okay. want to go back. So we have now a consultant company that they cut the wood and take it out. We have some big machine, never did some in the past. No, we use like real truck, and big truck and not like a guy with a chainsaw. You know, it's not the size yeah. of that. It's like major working. First step is to cut the wood, half of it is done. And then we're gonna strip the area, but we won't strip for sure the entire zone. What we're gonna do is to start from the main showing itself and increase the zone from one to the other. But each zone so far <laughs> found are about 200 meters step out between. It's not because we have not found anything, just because the trench done last year was done perpendicular to a rhyolite, which is the old rock, the contact from the rhyolite and the sediment, that's where we find gold. So we did some trenching perpendicular to that, 
and define that 600 meters. And lucky as we were, because you know the exploration is a part of luck as well. So hard work and a bit of luck. So we found that like, chewing, gold chewing, and some very very high grade zone over 600 meters. So yes, it's going to be done over the entire. So the three teams, one team is really dedicated to find and define more gold in that area. We call it the definition work program. But also, when we did the VTEM survey, we have defined the same target. We have a real like, like, like cut like with a, you know, a knife, uh, contact with the high mag and low mag, and all the mineralization is along that line. So we have followed that zone for three kilometers south and three kilometers north of the one kilometer. So the other team, what we call is, we call it this discovery phase. And the discovery phase, they're gonna go on the three kilometers south and the three kilometers north. And we're gonna do the same kind of trenching first to define where is the rhyolite, if there's so. And if when we're gonna find it, hopefully we're gonna have gold in it. And the third team is doing what we call it, like the grassroots exploration, because it's a huge land package over like almost 30,000 hectares. The third mm -hmm. team, call it the flying team. So they're going to go kind of almost everywhere over the property and they're going to do some trenching, prospecting, and try to find again the next one. So already, always having a drill ready target and some other area to bring the work to the, uh, you know, the definition drilling or something. And you won't believe it, we have 60 targets to trench. <laughs> so <laughs> the trend, tobacco is there since uh, two weeks ago, and he's yeah. going to do trenching over the entire summer, 60 target to trench. And during the same time, drilling at uh, O'Neill Gold Trend, going to start pretty, pretty soon before the end of June. Uh, we have money in the treasury. We're excited. It's a great, great timing for Puma right now. Now, do you have any additional geophysics planned? I know you did the VTEM survey. Do you plan on implementing anything else like IP surveys into this program? Uh, to be honest, we don't know because right now, you know, the survey were, was done at every 100 meter space line. So, mm -hmm. you know, we could do, we were talking about maybe doing an IP on ground, but having uh, like a line every 100 meters, the survey is not too, too much accurate. And because the beauty of New Brunswick is a very, very little and thin overburden. So sometimes it's just cheaper to do a stripping, uh, trenching over a, uh, like a wood cutting row just on the ditch, and it's, yeah. you have your answer. So survey is good, but having the real rock is better. So, so far, no, but what we have requested, because it's a so much detail and up-to-date survey, we're doing some um, 3D inversion, doing some data analysis from the survey from an external uh, you know, a consultant. As we speak, yeah. we have a, a specialist, uh, Tehran, I don't know if you know Tehran, in uh, Eastern uh, Canada, and they do some structural uh, study, analysis of all what we have. So we, we're having access to specialists. We're not, we're not a big head and think that we're the best and everything. We have our own like task and, you know, objective, and we really like to ask other people to help us to define the model. But as I said, the best, best thing is the thin overburden because last year we've done more than 4,000 uh, meters, so almost four kilometers of trenching. It's right at surface, permitting is easy, and this is the best way to find uh, gold mineralization. Now you say that, but at the same token, you're no stranger to technology. I mean, you applied windfall geotech's card system and in a base metal camp where you're finding high grade gold all of a sudden in the last couple of years, you've also yeah. found a copper showing. Uh, can you yeah. talk to us a little bit about the implementation of Windfall Geotech and the success of that program? Yes, uh, you know, we uh, know uh, Windfall uh, Geotech for years and years. Uh, we have been talking with Michel Fontaine and we applied that uh, cards uh, targeting system over almost all the copper play that we had. And the first time we used it was at Turgeon Copper Play, which is Northern New Brunswick. And that mm -hmm. helped us to find what we call it the burn zone of the Turgeon South. So great copper uh, assays, uh, mainly in trenching. We have not drilled it yet, but yes. And then what we've done, we, since then we have applied the card system on the other targets for copper. 
And the last one uses the Chester. So Chester, we have some drill target, we have drill it, and the news will come a little bit uh, later on. But as Puma will really be focusing on the uh, Goldley, the plan for Puma is to monetize the copper asset. As I said, Puma was only copper about like in 10 years ago. Since the last two years, we have switched from copper to gold, and we will just keep going on gold because it's so exciting and it's so high grade gold. So we're going to keep doing that. But to give back a little bit to our shareholder that they have support us for years, so we're going to we are trying to to do something to man, uh, monetize the copper asset, a GV option, a spin-off, everything is on the table, and the investor will know sooner than later the end game of that and they will understand that copper we want to be part of the story but we're going to be really focusing on the gold side well to my surprise that's what actually brought my attention to your company was the the copper targets and the the soil sampling that you did and i was really taken by that i thought it was impressive and then the more you dig in and you start to look at the uh the triple fault gold particularly williamsbrook and this new seven kilometer trend it gets even more exciting the thought the plot thickens but you've also got a few other properties that are not necessarily contiguous to the triple or to the uh, williamsbrook property uh, in John Pole and Portage properties. Can you yeah. talk to us a little bit about those? What are your plans for those? Yes, uh, what we've done is when we collected the uh, the triple fault uh, play, the yeah, first was to select the William Brook. But at the same time, when we did the research and we talking with the local prospector, the Portage and the uh, also the John Paul Gold property came to my attention. And at the time, you know, the, the gold fever in the Atlantic and Maritime was not as hot it is right now. So we could get pretty good deals to, to option those property for shares at the time. And so now we have 100% of those. So if we're talking about Portage, it's just a little bit two kilometers north of the Rest Gauche mine, VMS, used to be mined by Trevely. And this is like a large porphyry system. So far, that porphyry at the beginning, we thought it was a gold copper porphyry system. So maybe a large stone age, lower grade. And then when we did a little bit of trenching last year, two years ago, was mainly cobalt, nickel, and copper, a little bit of gold. So this is kind of a strange, you know, animal to have that. So it's not the same models that we have at William Brook. The thing is, there's so many faults and it's intrusive complex. So that you know, uh, uh, one of the target, it would be something like uh, energy metal, copper, nickel, cobalt stuff. The other one, John Paul, is purely gold. And so far, what we know from the John Paul is grab sample, work a little bit in the 80, 86 by Noranda, and they have like a felsic intrusive uh, and intermediate uh, intrusive containing gold. So what we did, when we come and went from doing the VTEM over the entire William Brook, so mm -hmm. that's there to save some money on the mob and demob. So we decide to fly also the Portage and the John Paul. So because the really the highlight was the William Brook, we don't mm -hmm. have yet the final data. So basically what we want to do is to interpret the data from both, which are not the same models, like a porphyry compared to gold. And once we're gonna have the target, we will try to match previous gold uh, anomaly and showing with some kind of signature. So it's too early now. We don't have the final data to under to match though. So once it's going to be done, when I said the flying team, like the one to prospecting, they're going to go there. But I would say 90% of the budget this year will be spent on William Brook. And those are great assets to have a huge land package. But we don't know yet exactly, you know, the partage, we might think about uh, do a GV on it because that's not gold itself. Uh, for sure, John Paul are great. But doing the, the VTEM survey, you're going to be able to keep those property for at least the next three years as work with it. So now it won't be a matter of doing the work to keep the claim, but it's more to really have something better. So, you know, brand new stuff found. But Little, so probably a little bit of prospecting, trenching, nothing more than that with our flying team. 
Well, with the great success that you had with Windfall Geotech and identifying the copper, um, is that something that you would be looking to maybe utilize throughout your the rest of the Triple Fault Gold property for gold instead of copper this time? Yes, yes, yes. That's something to under that to, to consider. And uh, also, uh, Michel, uh, you is on the board of Puma, so that's for sure. We're all working together and find uh, uh, you know new tools. And as I said, I'm I'm really really keen on get all the new technology for sure. You know, it help us to uh, confirm some other target. And sometimes it it's get, bring us some idea that we have not think about it. But uh, the first thing step is to finalize and have the final data on the uh, the entire William book hopefully you know the consultant uh, told us we're going to have those in March <laughs> and we don't <laughs> so that's the time frame now so uh, once we're yeah. going to have those data we'll see uh, you know uh, what we can do with Excellent. Well, I really appreciate the update from you, Marcel. It's been a treat. The last thing I'd say then is to uh, kind of give a shout out to shareholders as to why they should invest in Puma Explorations. Uh, you know, there's many, many reasons, but one of the great one is if you want to be part of a story from the beginning, if you look the the other company around that they've been working in the maritime for gold exploration, if we're talking about Newfound Gold, if we're talking about, you know, Marathon, Galway, then it's the best, best place to invest, to be part of a major story, great gold discovery, and, and be really successful all together. So, you know, first mover in the area, we have a, a land package, a district scale package, first mover in the batters, been there for 15 years. So, as I said, I have many, many, many reasons. So, uh, I invite the people that they want to know more just to call me and, uh, you know, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have more than time to speak and I'm happy to share the great story. Well, thanks again, Marcel. I appreciate your time and we'll do this again really soon. Thank you very much, and you're welcome to come, man. Huh? Anytime. You know I'm going to be there this summer, and I can't wait yes. to see the property, especially once you've got everything pulled back. That'll uh, that'll really help uh, enlighten viewers with uh, some good footage. So, great. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you again. You too. Thank Take you. care, Marcel. Thank you.